Now to the latest developments in Turkey. President Recep Tayyip Erdogan has announced a three-month state of emergency following last week's coup attempt. He says he will work as president and commander-in-chief with armed forces to cleanse a, quote, virus from the military. Park Jong-hong reports. In a televised address to the nation, President Erdogan said the state of emergency was essential in order to swiftly restore stability to the country. He added that it was needed to remove all elements of the terrorist organization that were involved in the coup attempt. The purpose of the declaration of the state of emergency is in fact to be able to take the most efficient steps in order to remove this threat as soon as possible, which is a threat to democracy, to the rule of law, and to the rights and freedoms of the citizens of our country. He reassured citizens that the measure is aimed at protecting those values from attacks. The president lauded citizens who took to the streets last Friday to fight against the coup, calling them heroes and those who were killed martyrs. He said the nation would never forget the bravery and sacrifice of those who lost their lives. According to the Turkish constitution, a state of emergency is allowed to last up to six months. An extensive purge has been in full swing in Turkey over the past several days. About 60,000 soldiers, police, judges, civil servants and teachers have been rounded up, sacked or placed under investigation since last week's failed coup. Park Jong-hong, Arirang News.